No freaking way. No way. There's absolutely no way. Elvis, you're made of glass, bro. Over 50 years, Buffalo Sabres fans have waited for a Stanley Cup. This is the best team the Buffalo Sabres have ever had. The best chemistry, the best coach, the best players. This is our year. Let's go into the postseason. What's going on, everybody? And welcome to another episode of your Buffalo Sabres Cup for Jack mini five-year franchise mode. We're here in the year three playoffs. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. If we get past Tampa, I'm feeling like it's going to be smooth sailing. But this first round is going to be... It's going to be difficult because Tampa Bay is a really, really good team. Now, you're going to notice I'm not going to showcase any comments in this video because I want to jump right into it. I've waited so long. Buffalo Sabres fans have waited so long. We need to bring a cup to Buffalo, bring a cup for Jack Eichel and Taylor Hall. This is the best team Buffalo has ever had. I've moved Dylan Cousins back up to the first line. I'm prepared to go on a deep, lengthy playoff run. So pause the video, go get a snack, you might be here for a while. I got myself some cranberry juice and a granola bar just in case this gets a little bit long, but I'm happy with how the team looks right now. We are going to move Isaac Lundstrom back up to the third line, I forgot to do that. Uh, but here's the squad, it's the best team Buffalo's ever had, you can't argue it. But what you can argue is whether we start UPL or Elvis Merzlikens in the postseason. Elvis has been injury riddled in the postseason. He has been, honestly, it's kind of comical how much he gets injured. But we are going to roll with Elvis. We made the, I wouldn't call it a mistake, call it whatever you will. We made the decision, I guess we'll call it a decision, not to play Elvis in Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals after coming off an injury, after UPL put up a shutout in game number six but that's old news we're starting with Elvis he's our starter we're gonna go with it I have auto goalie rotations off I think let me triple check and then we're gonna have a look at the Tampa Bay Lightning roster we're gonna get right into this all right so we're gonna check out the Tampa Bay Lightning but first I want to look at Ottawa because I noticed something while I was messing around earlier in Victor Olofsson's first year outside of Buffalo he puts up a career year 95 points 41 goals so I'm glad he's found a good home in Ottawa I'm glad it's worked out this line probably has a plus five we got a sniper two-way forward sniper oh maybe not I don't know maybe it works different in Ottawa but good for Victor Olofsson and then here's Sam Reinhardt's points just in case you guys want to see fell off a little bit but still a very respectable year all right the Tampa Bay Lightning so they're missing who are they missing from last year they got killer point and Kucherov, Taylor Radish, this guy is a pain in my ass every time we play these guys. Uh, we got Steven Stamkos, who's an absolute beast. He always scores on us in the postseason. Yanni Gord getting some second line minutes. Sven Berchi, they got Yanni Kukinen. Then we got Matthew Joseph here on the third line, who scored actually quite a bit, if I remember correctly. He put a few on us last year. Uh, Josh Hosang, Tyler Pitlick, and Mikhail Bodker. So uh, some few changes. Just nothing super crazy. They still have the big three-point Stammer Cooch, and they still have Victor Hedman, obviously. But he is playing second-line minutes behind Sergachev and Ryan McDonough. They got Derek Forbor and Ilya Labushkin, the big defensive defenseman. And between the pipes, the big cat, Andre Vasileski and Casey DeSmith as the backup. Obviously, they don't have any injuries. These are their scratches headed into the postseason. I feel like this is going to be our biggest hurdle here. They they just beat us back-to-back -back nights earlier this week, 6-3 and 4-3, but we have home ice advantage here in the Key Bank Arena. Injuries are on. Please, God, make sure Elvis stays healthy. Let's go here. Period number one against Tampa Bay, and it's 1-1. Cal Foot and Taylor Hall. All right, let's get our big guns going here. Period number two. Okay, 4-1. Gord, Stamkos, and Cal Foot gets his second of the night. 
Okay, we're out shooting them, but man, they're potent on their offense, and they chase out Elvis Merzlikens. UPL is starting, and then Yanni Gord makes it 6-1. to one. Casey Middlestat makes it 6-2. to two. I think it's too little too late. Closing in on 40 shots, not for a lack of trying, but oh my god, Ryan Pollock makes it 7-3. to three. What the hell is this game? 10 goals in a playoff game? 11 goals! Steven Stamkos, oh Oh my god, both goalies get lit up like a Christmas tree. Six points for Steven Stamkos, are you kidding me? This is not how I envisioned game number one. Okay, let's just take a minute. Uh, okay, that's, oh god, I swore to, I thought that was going to be Elvis. That's a guy in our AHL team. Okay, so let's go to game two. Let's all take a breath, okay? Everybody breathe. Game one, don't worry about it. We got blown out. Game number two, let's go. We can beat these guys. We, we did it last year in the playoffs. Come on, get your shit together, boys. Period number one. It's 2-1. Cooch and point. God damn, these guys are relentless. Jake DeBrus scores one on the big cat, Andre Vasilevsky. Period number two. Okay, what a comeback. Jake DeBrus gets his second of the night. Casey Middlestack goals him back-to-back. -back, and Rasmus Ristolainen and on the power. Our play you absolutely love to see it it's the exact opposite of last time we're getting outshot but we have the advantage going into the third just kidding Ryan McDonough with the power play goal on Elvis Merzlikens and then Josh Hosang with a power play goal why why are you doing this to me Tampa no I don't like it no please stop I don't want this can we please tie up the game Jack Eichel Hello, Jack Eichel, Dylan Cousins, the playoff GOAT, power play, Jake DeBrusque with a game two hat trick. Two, oh my god, Jack Eichel, there you go, ask and you shall receive, I called them out and they come through huge, Jake DeBrusque with a massive hat trick and then Jack Eichel with the game winner, just over three minutes left in the third period and that is a huge W, a massive W. Braden Point's got four points. I don't care. Jake DeBrusque has a huge night, gets a hat trick. Oh, my God. Okay, another AHL injury. Oh, my God. It said, hold on, no freaking way. No way. There's absolutely no way. Elvis, you're made of glass, bro. Oh, my God. Elvis Merzlikens has been injured with a herniated disc July 2nd. He's done for the whole postseason. Oh, my God. July 2nd? Yeah, he's toast. A herniated disc? Are you joking me? He's done for the postseason. Oh, my God. All right. You know what? I'm not even worried about it. I'm not even going to worry about it. We all knew. We all knew this. Elvis was going to get injured. It was only a matter of time, right? So let's put the lines back to the way we want them. Dylan Cousins. Actually, you know what? Dylan Cousins is going to stay down here. Dylan Cousins is going to stay right there. We're going to keep the lines like this, actually. I'm keeping it like this. Defense, that's fine. Uh, Madison Bowie is up here? No, 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 no. We don't want Madison Bowie. Ooh, it does give it a plus three, though. We can get plus three threes on everything but then that means that um, our young stud here Habi Bulin is riding the pine hmm he's got two assists in two games I can't do that to the kid I can't do that he's got to go back in the he's got to go back in and then we're going with UPL and Ola Lilia the former uh, second round pick in 2021 all right UPL the team's yours all right Elvis doesn't exist anymore he's hurt he's got a herniated disc the poor guy can't stay healthy in the postseason for the life of him I don't care we just had a huge comeback massive massive win in game number two we have a tie series we're getting through this quick because i just want to rip the band-aid off all right i want this i want it to be over i don't want to mess around with the tampa bay lightning even though i can see this going seven games quite easily going all the way back to tampa buffalo to florida here we go period number one let's win the first okay i'll take it we got a tie game uh kukinen and then matthew joseph who's just a thorn in my side 
side. Uh, Risto and Casey Middlestad, who's had a really good postseason, actually. We're out shooting Tampa Bay like crazy. Can we please get out of the second period with a lead? Oh, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Jake DeBrusque and Jack Eichel. Two goals in two games. How about four goals in two games? Jake DeBrusque, baby. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Don't let your foot off the pedal. Keep it going. Pedal to the metal, foot on the gas, because you know Tampa Bay can strike real quick. Lightning can strike fast. Oh, Maxime Comtois on the fourth line. There you go. That's a big goal on Andre Vasilevsky. We peppered the guy with shots. Eventually, one's going to go in. Alex Killorn makes it 5-3. Isaac Lundstrom, the former Anaheim Duck, he scores a goal, and we have a 2-1 to -one lead. Let's hop right into the next game. Please to God, no injuries. Thank you. Somehow Elvis gets injured. Well, he's already injured, of course. I'm nervous. I, I'm trying to get through Tampa Bay so fast. We have a 2-1 lead here. We're still in sunny Florida. I'm not focused on the good weather. I'm focused on winning the hockey game. I'm focused... I'm focused on winning. All I want to do is win. DJ Khaled style. Period number one. We can go up 3-1 in the series. Let's go. And it's 3-0, baby. Dylan Cousins, Dominic Kubelik, and Isaac Lundstrom, the playoff GOAT. 11-3 are the shots. Tampa, where are you? Wake up. Actually, don't. No, don't wake up. Please don't wake up. Period number two. It's 4-0. Isaac Lundstrom having himself quite a first round. 27-16 are the shots shots things you love to see ladies and gentlemen okay 31 to 21 are the shots not worried about it we have a four goal cushion upl is going to do the rest it's all good play some good defensive hockey pad the stats casey middlestack gets a big one and we destroy the tampa bay lightning five to nothing now let's not get too cocky we've done this before we've got cocky in the past all right we've had issues Issues with our confidence in the past and it comes back to bite us in the ass i.e. a 2-0 lead in the Stanley Cup final let's go we have a nice cushion here it's not a for sure thing we have a 3-1 lead it's Tampa Bay though so anything can happen AC Middlestat leading the way with four goals and four apples in four games let's go play the same hockey you did in the last three games you're coming off a big shutout Tampa Bay is going to be coming in hot period number one and it's three to one. Oh my goodness Braden point starts it off early but Risto another goal Jack Eichel and Jake DeBrusque there you go boys keep it coming period number two all right a quiet 20 minutes after a pretty exciting first period let's shut it down here in the third Jack Eichel oh baby oh captain my captain Jack freaking Eichel I'm gonna say it right now that's our ticket to round number two see you later Tampa Taylor Hall says yep I want my ticket too he gets a power play goal I mean the first game was a disaster Alex Formanton, how you doing, Chief? The first game was a disaster. I was nervous. But then... Elvis got hurt, and then I was like, wait a minute, this is UPL's team. It doesn't matter anymore. Six to one. Rasmus Dahlin, three assists. Jack Eichel, two goals and an assist. We absolutely destroyed Tampa Bay there. Have you noticed these stats? Have you noticed the numbers we are putting up on Tampa Bay? What an insane series. We lost... 8 to 3 which was crazy. We won 6 to 5, 6 to 3, 5 nothing and then 6 to 1. Shut out UPL only allowing one goal in his last two games. You love to see it. I cannot believe that Elvis Merzlikens got injured again. Can you that just like it doesn't make sense. He's literally made of glass. Uh, Rasmus Dahlin, 10 assists. Oh my god. What a beautiful Swedish young man. And then Casey Middlestat having the playoff of his life. Jake DeBrusque, eight points. Eichel, eight points. Everyone's doing great. I don't care. Let's just keep the wins coming. I love some points from Kravsov and our Calder Trophy Heart winner, Lady Bing winner, Matthew Phillips. Uh, have a look at the goaltenders here. Four and one. Like, look at those numbers. He's been so damn good. Ola Lilia, he was technically credited with the shutout. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, let's 
maybe they shared the shutout, I guess is probably what happened. Uh, but Elvis obviously injured, and then uh, UPL really never looked back. So we technically have six wins in the first round. That makes sense. Okay. So who do we got in round number two? That was my biggest concern. My biggest concern was getting past the Tampa Bay Lightning. And who do we got here? A uh, bunch of players in our Rochester. We have the Montreal Dakota. Canadians. All right, let's check out Montreal's roster. I'm turbo speeding this. I'm going for it. I've had too much playoff failure and I am done with it. I am ready to get this thing going. Montreal, let's have a look at the Habs. A new team we haven't played in the postseason. Jonathan Drouin, 92 overall. Jesperi Kakniemi, nice to see he's finally grown. Um, Tyler Toffoli, 85 overall. Vancouver Canucks legend. We got Evgeny Svechnikov. Nick is Suzuki, Brendan Gallagher, so a really, really nice top six. We got the $5.5 million fourth liner, Josh Anderson. Yikes. Danton Heenan and then Gaetan Haas. They got Valtteri Filpula, Vinny Henestrosa, and Seattle Storm Bear legend Ryan Paling. Moving on to the defense here, Shea Weber, Jeff Petrie, Noah Juleson. So they haven't really made too many changes. And they got 83 overall, 35-year-old Carey Price between the pipes. They have Paul Byron who's injured and then Justin Schultz riding the pine. So their team's looking okay. Their top six is nice. Um... It's a good team. I mean, I think we're better in every single aspect. That 92 is real nice, but I mean, I'd take Jack Eichel over Yasperi Cockneyhemi any day of the week. I'm feeling good right now. Let's get into it here up against the Montreal Canadiens. We have home ice advantage coming off of a nice little four-day break after getting rid of Tampa in round number one. We can never count out Carey Price, though. He can steal a game like you would not believe. Period number one, Buffalo and Montreal, and it's 4 to 1. Remember I was pumping up Carey Price? Ah, that's the X-Tech jinx. You see what I did there? We chased him. Jack Eichel, Dominic Kubelik, Jake DeBrusque, and Sean Corrali. Uh, Jonathan Drouin gets one for them. We're in the driver's seat here going into the second. Okay, 5 to 3. They make it interesting. Eichel gets his second. Kakaniemi and Svechnikov score for them where they are within striking distance. However, there it is. Dominic Kubelik, he makes it it's six to three and he makes it seven to three just for fun just for fun and games couple of laughs here and there let's pad the stats let's keep it going here boys i don't care about hurting anybody's feelings this is our year i don't care keep it going power play taylor hall okay maxime comtois on the power play and we beat the montreal canadians eight to three in game number one Casey Middlestat, not a bad night. Kubelik, yeah, pretty good. Jack Eichel, two goals of his own. We're rolling right now. Let's keep it going, fellas. Game number two. Let's keep it going. Eight to three, which is actually funny. Uh, eight to three is the score we lost to in round number one. So kind of weird how that happens. Hopefully we don't have the same fate as the Tampa Bay Lightning. But game number two, Casey Middlestat playing like a god right now. Period number one. Let's keep it going. It's 1-1. One, one. Gaetan Haas and Vitaly Kravtsov. There you go. We chased Carey Price last game. Can we do it again? Period number two. Okay, three to two. Jonathan Drouin and Canucks legend Tyler Toffoli. Maxime Comtois scores for us. All right, so we are down going into the third. Just kidding. Casey Middlestat having the playoff of his life. Scores a huge goal there on Carey Price. But Brendan Gallagher comes right back on the power play. We do have the shot advantage by quite a bit. But Carey Price, he's embarrassed about getting pulled in game number one. He's stopping everything everything that comes his way come on three minutes and 50 seconds left let's slow it down can we get a buzzer beater here a minute 40 going to overtime please oh my god dylan cousins let's go carry price allows a last second goal and we are headed into overtime against the montreal canadiens in game number two when it looked like the Buffalo Sabres were down and out, Dylan Cousins come through with a huge goal to force overtime. We're here in the Key Bank Arena. Let's end this one quick. I don't want to go long. Let's get to Montreal and let's get another win. Dylan Cousins, he scored the goal to send this thing into overtime. He's got the lane. Oh, tries the saucer pass to 59. I don't even know who that is. 
Oh my goodness, what kind of defense was that? Oh, you just let him walk right in. What the hell was that? Who was that? Who? Okay, was it Ryan Pollock? Yeah, so, oh, Ryan Pollock, what were you doing there? You just chased the man. And then whose guy was Jonathan Druans? That was, uh, who was it here? Looks like that was Oliver Shillington. Oh, man, just a tap in. You got caught. Defense got caught. And just like that, we have a tie series. You hate to see it. That one stings a little bit, not going to lie. But let's get back on the horse here. We're in Montreal. Everyone had a nice poutine before the game. Everyone's happy. Let's go. Period number one after an overtime loss. Game number three. It's 2-1 Montreal. Okay, Cockney Emmy gets two. Dylan Cousins, he's starting to get hot. You like to see that. Period number two. Okay, we're still down by one here going into the third. I have a feeling that the majority of these games are going to be one goal games here. Come on, Hall. Come on, Eichel. Someone score a damn goal here. No way. No way you're going to only score one in game three. No way, no how. Come on, boys. Come on. A minute left, 59 seconds, and we can't force an overtime. And just like the score entails, we are down two to one to the Montreal Canadiens. It's all good. Don't worry. Everyone breathe. We can do this. Game number four, all right? I always say it's the most important game of the series. We tie it up or we go down 3-1. You guys can do this. You just beat the Tampa Bay Lightning, all right? Let's go. Period. Numero uno. Okay, 3-1. to one. Not what I was expecting. Ryan Paling and Sveshnikov gets two of his own. Comtois scores for us. Period number two. Can we get back into this thing? Okay, I don't want the score to entail how the series is going to look here. Come on, let's get back into this thing. 3-1, make it 4-1. Brendan Gallagher on the power play, but Rasmus Dahlin with a shorthanded goal. Come on, boys, we have some life. We have some life here. Come on, 30 to 30 are the shots. It's anyone's game. We are well within striking distance power play. Come on, Jake DeBrusque, someone score on the power play. Oh, no, Buffalo. Don't do this to me, Buffalo. Don't do this. Oh, no. All right, we might need to make a line change. We're just not scoring enough here. I'm going to chuck Dylan Cousins back on the first line with Eichel and Hall. I don't really know what else I can do. I mean, we know we can score. We know we can do it. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. We're down 3-1 against Carey Price and the Montreal Canadiens. We've lost our scoring touch. All right, boys, do or die. Do or die. It's simple. All right, it's simple. We were riding a high after that Tampa Bay series, but we've kind of come down to earth here. Whew. Let's take it one period at a time. Times eight simulation, all right? We're being outshot 5 nothing here. What's going on? But it doesn't matter. Taylor Hall, baby, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Seven to four are the shots, but we do have the all-important one goal lead. There you go, 10 to six are the shots. We still have the one goal lead. Taylor Hall scored early on Carey Price. Second shot of the night. Power play for Montreal. They're deadly. I didn't think I gave, I don't think I gave them enough credit, but they're a really good defensive of T and that guy's like Josh Anderson on the third line just shutting you down but again I said it's going to be like a one or two goal game every single game and it looks like this is going to be no exception one to one as Nick Suzuki ties up the hockey game here going into the third we only have 16 shots let's start Start shooting a bit more on uh, Carey Price. There you go. It's a power play goal from Jack freaking Eichel. And then Ryan Pollock back to back after his uh, overtime screw up the other night. Jake DeBrusque makes it 4-1. to one. Then Vinny Hinnestroza. Oh my god. Ola Lilia is in the net. Oh my god. No way. Nick Suzuki. No, no, no. You guys are not doing this to me. Ola Lilia, do we pull? Oh my god. Okay, Ola Lilia, he allowed too late, but did we pull? There's no way that we pulled um, UPL. No way did UPL just get injured. Please, no, 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 no. Why the hell did, what? Okay, uh, um, okay maybe we pulled. 
I gotta do some investigating. What the hell just happened? For some reason, Ola Lilia was in the pipes there. I don't know what happened. UPL was not hurt. Maybe he just needed some time off. I have no idea what the hell happened. That was so weird. If we would have had to go into the game number six with Ola Lilia, I would have been a little bit nervous, but thank God UPL's not injured. Game six, you can make a real series out of this here. If we force a game seven, anything can happen. Times eight simulation once again. We need to be in control here. I don't want to have these one goal little tiny games here. Jack Eichel, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. I want to be up three, four to one. Nick Suzuki ties up the game one to one. UPL, I'm putting all my trust in you, buddy. This is your team. Rasmus Risto freaking line in. Second part of Rasmus squared puts us up by one going into the second. Let's start to pull away here. Come on, Dylan Cousins, maybe? Sean Corrali, someone? Not Jonathan Drouin. That's not what I wanted. Power play, power play, Taylor Hall. Oh, boys, come on. Dominic Kubelik. I forgot about you. There you are. Thank you for showing up. Come on, let's go up 4-2 to two here going into the third. Come on, get that extra one. All right. Oh, no, not Vinny Hinestroza. These guys will not go away. Seriously, the most annoying team in the entire world. Oh, Jack Eichel, you beauty. He wants it bad. He wants a Stanley Cup ring. Jack Eichel, come on, boys. Oh, no, Jonathan Drouin, go away. Vitaly Kravtsov, huge, huge addition there. Isaac Lundstrom, shorthanded. Don't say it quite yet, but I think we're going back to Buffalo for game number seven. Oh, my my god okay Isaac Lundstrom shorthanded seals the deal I gotta take a drink of water here oh god game seven against Montreal let's go I'm hearing reports that Game 7 was sold out in less than two minutes here in Buffalo, the Key Bank Arena. All the assistant GMs up in Section 303 watching this epic Game 7 times 8 simulation. Let's go, boys. Oliver Shillington. What a time to show up. But then Brendan Gallagher. Okay. The hometown kid. He uh, went to school with my wife. Fun fact. All right. Oliver Shillington scores, but then Galley comes right back. I still Saw him in the lineup at a grocery store this summer. Another fun fact. Okay, enough about Brendan freaking Gallagher. We got a game seven here on our hands. Shots are pretty even. It's Jack Eichel time, baby. He wants it. Do it for Eichel, not Jonathan Drouin. Now, you're not Jack Eichel. What are you doing? You want to be? Five on three, and we don't capitalize, but Dylan Cousins, he scores a big one. And then Jack Eichel, there you go, baby. Cut for Jack. Puts us ahead by one, but I have a feeling Montreal's going to gonna come right back they're annoying oh my god jake freaking debrusque gives us that small insurance marker going into the third period 16 minutes left i'd love another one maybe rasmus dolan dominic kubelik maybe ease my anxiety a little bit power play for montreal sean corrali killing it off doing his best tyroning impersonation but brendan gallagher puts them within one but jack eichel says not to Today, baby get out of here we force a game seven and we win game seven on the shoulders of Jack Eichel and Taylor Hall my voice is already dead and I'm only through two rounds all right, let's go. Who do we got in the conference final? We have the Washington Capitals and Alexander Ovechkin. Now, if we check out the Sabres stats, we played the Washington Capitals last year in our route to the Stanley Cup. So this could be Ovi's last crack at the can, 37 years old for the great eight. Uh, their team looks weird. They have Sprong and Oshie on the third and the fourth line. We got Brandon Pierlini here on the fourth line. We actually traded him to Washington in exchange for Sean Corrali. Looks like he didn't even play this year for some reason, not even in the AHL. Uh, it should show 2022-2023 stats, but it doesn't. It only shows him in the postseason. He does have four goals in nine games, so whenever they use him, he's good, but I don't know why they're not using him more. Kind of interesting. 
Anyways, here's the rest of their team. Garnett Hathaway. This guy was kind of annoying last time we played them. Arturi Lekkinen. Like, I don't know what they're doing with their lines, but it seems to work because they're in the conference final. John Carlson. We got to watch out for this guy. He's got 14 assists in 12 postseason games. Uh, he's got 103 points this year. He's an absolute beast. Orlov, Dylan, Alexander Alexiev. So their team hasn't really changed a whole lot. They got Ilya Samsonov and Pavel. Francois, and then yeah they don't really have any injuries so interesting all right they got an interesting looking team they have offensive weapons on every single line they have tom wilson playing center i don't know what's going on with this team but it works they're in the conference final let's have a quick look at our stats here we know casey middle stats having the postseason of his life looking for that con smite trophy uh let's have a look here so 20 points in 12 games 19 for jack eichel De Brusk, Hall, Kubelik, Dolan, all these guys absolutely killing it. Again, two players who I haven't really seen a whole lot from, Matthew Phillips and Vitaly Kravtsov. Interesting. I thought I would see more from them, but hey, it is what it is. Here's a look at the playoff tree here. We have a potential matchup of either Vegas or the Winnipeg Jets. Now, Washington got rid of uh, the Boston Bruins and Jeff Skinna. They got rid of the uh, Philadelphia Flyers, and now they're here against us in the conference final. We beat them last year in five games. Can we do it again? Let's go. Game number one. Once again, we have home ice advantage. I'm ready to go. I'm not scared of Ovechkin. We got rid of him last year. Let's go. Period number one. Zero, zero. Period number two. Okay, three to one. There you go. Sean Corrali, former Washington Capitol. Casey Middlestack. Garnett Hathaway. Why do you always score on me? And why is your name Garnett? Uh, Alex Formanton scores, making it three to one going into the third. We have the one goal lead. Can we make it a two goal lead? Jake DeBrusque on the power play but then Ben Sherratt of course he scores the sniper Ben Sherratt scores a goal cutting the lead to two we have a little tiny shot advantage but the big advantage we have is on the score sheet four to two make it five to two Rasmus Dahlin and then Maxime Comtois just for good measure making it six to two this is an indication on how this series is going to go could be over pretty quick Isaac Lundstrom three apples Rasmus Dahlin three points that was a pretty easy game we haven't had any injuries since Elvis went down in the first round so hopefully we can stay healthy here. Going into game number two, period number one. Let's keep it going. Oh my god, we got a wild one. It's four to two. We chase Samson off. He's gone or Samsonov, however you want to say it. Dylan Cousins, Hall, Middlestat, Verona, Packstrom, Eichel. Goals, goals, goals. We got Pavel Francouz between the pipes. Period number two. Let's keep it going. All right, they cut the lead to one against UPL. John Carlson, the 103-point man, scores on UPL. We have the one-goal lead, but Evgeny Kuznetsov with his stupid bird celebration. He ties the game up at four. 32-25 are the Shots. I'm feeling a Dominic Kubalik goal. He's been quiet lately. He's been too quiet. Not Tom Wilson, fourth line center. No, that's not what I wanted. Or Alexander Ovechkin. We fall apart in the third period, big time. Third liner, TJ Oshie. Matthew Phillips, nice of you to show up. Uh, that was a ridiculous game. We had, that's no excuse. We had this in the bag, and then Kuznetsov tied it up, and it was all over. That was what we call a colossal colossal. Collapse. That is completely unacceptable. Not happy with that game at all. And of course, remember like a minute ago when I was like, oh, we haven't had any injuries. Hardy har har. Well, Dylan Cousins has a broken nose. Okay, he's out for a little while. He's definitely done, he said till the 20th, right? So he's done until... Until when? Yeah, so this entire series. He'll be back for the Stanley Cup Final if we get there. But Dylan Cousins, that's a huge loss. Oh my goodness. 
All right, so we're moving Vitaly Kravtsov back up to the first line. We called up Marcus Kruger, who was a guy we got in a trade that he was just a throw-in. I didn't think he'd be seeing any ice time. Uh, Dominic Kubelik's up to an 84. That's nice to see. Happy Bulin's still there. Good to go. Everyone is all we're battered. We're bruised. I don't like this. I really don't like how we played against Washington there in game number two. We're here at the Capital One Arena in Washington. Let's bounce back here, boys. This is our year. Let's go. Period number one. I want to see a lead going into the second. Okay, not what we talked about. Uh, Evgeny Kuznetsov. All right, let's just let's just get back into this one. All right. If we go into the third with a tie, that's great. I don't want to be trailing going into period number three, and it's three to one. Ovechkin, Sprong, and then Isaac Lundstrom scores for us. Come on, boys. We're still we're still in this. It's not over yet. It's just the Washington Capitals. What are you so scared about? No way, no how we're losing this one. 31-23 are the shots. Nine minutes left. If they go up 4-1, there it is. Q, right on Q, Alexander Ovechkin. Let's get this game over. Uh-oh. I'm not feeling very confident. Rasmus Ristolainen with a pulled groin. Play through it. Play through a pulled groin. Come on. Oh, Dylan Cousins, maybe, you know, put a put a bubble shield on. It's just a broken nose. All right, so we got Madison Bowie here. We're going to go Habby Bulin with Rasmus Dahlin here, Shillington, and Ryan Pollock. Team is uh, difficult to play against, to say the least. They're hurting us right now. We're battered. We're bruised. We're going into game number four. You guys know what this is, the most important game of this entire series here. Let's freaking go. Get back to the way that we've been playing against Tampa Bay and against Montreal at the latter stages when we had all that confidence. Where's the confidence gone? Dominic Kubelik, I need a goal from you, buddy. Period. Number one. It's one nothing, and <laughs> there you go. Dominic Kubelik scores. Sometimes I think I have a gift. All right, let's manifest a uh, an Alex Formanton goal. <laughs> if he scores here, I've definitely got a gift. Period number two. It's two to three. Three to two, sorry. Uh, Devontae's, he scores for us. Ovi, man, he's been hot lately. He's an old man. He's the silver fox, but he... Uh, he still got it. Alexiev and Ovechkin score in the second period to put the Washington Capitals up 3-2. to two. Come on, boys. Get back into this. Taylor Hall, Jack Eichel, Rasmus Dahlin, someone... Please score a goal. You can do it. I know you can score a goal. You have it in you. Oh my god, Taylor Hall, there you freaking go. But TJ Oshi, Captain America. Why? And then Brendan Dillon. Oh god. What am I doing wrong, Buffalo? What am I doing wrong? All right, going into game number. Okay, Dylan Cousins is back. Okay, Cousins is back. It's not, don't push the panic button yet. Dylan Cousins is back, baby. I'm chucking Dylan Cousins back on the first line. It was just a broken nose. Play with a bubble shield. Come on. I'm fired up. Let's go. Dylan Cousins back in the mix, and Jack Eichel scores on the first shot of the game. Play for Jack. He wants it more than anyone. Four to four are the shots. We're going times eight simulation here. Our backs are up against the wall. Down 3-1 in the series. Jack Eichel wants it. He wants it bad. Play for Jack. Maxime Comtois on the fourth line. He's playing for Jack Eichel. Let's keep it going. Two goals on 10 shots. I don't care. Let's keep the pressure on here. Play for Jack. Play for your captain. Captain Jack Eichel. Saving Private Jack, whatever you want to call it. And he gets another one. He's Big Time Jack. Big Showtime Jack. I'm just trying to make up nicknames on the spot here. He's got two goals and we have a 3 to nothing lead going into the third. Let's just calm her down here. Let's not, let's not let them get back into this play sound defensive hockey and you're going to be just fine. I need a drink of water. My voice is dying. Five on three power play. Maybe a Jack Eichel hat trick just for fun. Maybe just for fun on home ice. 36 to 30 other shots. Let's shut it down. UPL is going to do the rest. He gets a shutout and we're back. We have life. This is Montreal all over again. Please no injuries. Okay, we're back within striking distance. Game number six. Let me get a drink and let's get into this thing. Ooh, okay, we are the team that could. The annoying team that won't go away. Led by Casey Middlestat. 
Let's go, boys. Game number six. Let's go. We can do this. I know we can. We've done it before against Montreal. Times eight simulation where behind enemy lines here in Washington and enemy territory, they come out hot. Fourth liner Tom Wilson scores on the power play. We only have two shots here. Come on, Dylan Cousins. He's back from his broken nose. Should have just wore a shield and played through it. That's what I would have done. But hey, I'm starting to sound like Don Cherry right now. I'll stop that before it gets too crazy. Ryan Pollock, there you go. Right before the first period ends with 30 seconds, puts us ahead by one. I need to see a 3-1 here. If we go up 3-1, oh baby, Jake DeBrusque. You absolutely love to see it. This is what I'm talking about. This is Buffalo Sabres hockey. Taylor Hall playing for your captain. Cup for Jack, baby. Let's go. 4-1 here going in late in the second period we have a commanding lead we know Ovi is going to be on that Russian gas in the intermission he's going to be coming out swinging let's make it 5-1 make it 6-1 put these guys away and then force another game 7 Jack Eichel he wants it so bad so bad Vitaly Kravtsov he wants it so bad the younger generation of Russian in the NHL he gets another one we put up 7 see you guys can beat these guys you can do it 100% you can beat these guys 7 to 1 this is a statement game and we're going back to Buffalo for game number 7 all right, I might have a heart attack here. Game number seven. We forced a game seven against Montreal. Let's do it again. Here we go. We just beat them 7 nothing after shutting them out 3 nothing. We have all the momentum in the world. Let's keep it going. Keep it alive here. Jake DeBrusque, what a postseason this guy's been having. But the Silver Fox, the gray goat, Alexander Ovechkin, ties it up. We have a power play. All right, nothing from... Uh, oh, Jack Eichel. Oh, my God. There you go. He gets two. He wants it so bad. Goals within 40 seconds of each other. Puts us up three to one. Honestly, Jack Eichel is playing out of his mind right now. He is playing out of his mind. We have a nice lead here. We're shutting it down defensively. UPL is going to do the rest. Nothing's going to happen. Okay, wait a minute. John Carlson scores on UPL and Garnett Hathaway. Kevin Garnett and then Mikhail Grigorenko. Are you kidding me? I'm going to have a meltdown. Power play? Oh, my God. Why? What have I done to deserve this? I need some depth scoring. I need a Habi Bulin goal. I need someone. I need Sean Corrali. I need a shorthanded goal. I need something here. Jack Eichel has put it all out on the table. He's brought his A game times 10. Play for Jack. Third period here. Power play five on three. You have to capitalize. Come on, boys. Come on. You cannot let that slip away. No way. Oh, Sean Corrali asking you shall receive. Oh, my God. That's what I'm talking about. I called out our depth scorers, and they come through huge. Sean Corrali, the former Washington Capitol. Shots are basically dead even. We have all the momentum. Let's keep it going. Don't stop. Don't stop. No way, no how. 4-4 four, four here. Oh my god. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't the most nervous person on planet Earth right now. And Jack freaking Eichel. He gets to... <laughs> oh my god. Have you ever seen bigger heroics in the National Hockey League? Jack Eichel. He punches a ticket to the Stanley Cup final. Oh my god. We are off to the dance once again. Jack Eichel had four goals. I didn't even realize he had four. Holy crap. Hall with four assists. Dude, this is crazy. Jack Eichel is playing insane right now. Dylan Cousins, you broke your nose again? What are you doing with that giant thing on your face? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this sucks. Going into the cup final against the Winnipeg Jets. We have identical records. I cannot... Oh my god, Jack Eichel. 19 goals in 19 games. This man is ridiculous. We lost Dylan Cousins once again to another broken nose. Oh god, all the emotions. All right, here's our lines here going into the cup final. This is crazy. I cannot believe that. I don't even know why the lines are like this, but we're winning games with them like this, so I'm going to keep it the way it is. 
Jack Eichel. Talk about a guy who wants a Stanley freaking cup. Oh my God. All right, let's have a look at the Winnipeg Jets here. I haven't really thought about Winnipeg or saw Winnipeg do anything major in the trade department. So you're probably going to see a lot of the same players. And yeah, they're stacked. Oh boy, are they ever stacked. Nikolai Ehlers, Mark Shifley, Patrick Laine, Kristen Vasilainen, Mason Appleton. Okay, so not that stacked down the middle, but their wingers are nasty. Ronald Falk. He was drafted second overall in 2021, so they were a lottery team. Uh, he's a sniper, though, so they got snipers on every single line here. First liner, Patrick Laine, sniper. Ronald Falk, another sniper. Kyle Connor, oh boy. Kyle Connor and Blake Wheeler on your third line. Their wingers are terrifying. Mark Jankowski, Brian Little, and Zygmunt Gergensons. I forgot we sent Gergensons to the Winnipeg Jets. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Morrissey, Pionk. We got Matt Waugh. Uh, is it Matt Roy? I don't know. I'm just going to go with Matt Waugh because of Patrick Waugh. Ryan Murray, Nikita Zadorov, and Braden Coburn. We got Connor Hellebuck, 90 overall. And they have Nick Letty injured as well. So, yeah, their defense is actually stacked. If they have Nick Letty, injured so they probably scratched Braden Coburn and then they would bring or sorry they probably scratched Matthew Waugh slash Roy uh, and then obviously Nick Letty's right there so yeah that's a good team that's a really good team there but we are playing with some sort of superpower from Jack Eichel that no one has ever seen before we have the exact same record in the postseason we have home ice advantage which is nice they had 13 overtime losses so they're not good in the extra frame if we decide to go into overtime we might win we both had seven game series in the conference final against vegas and washington but we got jack eichel we got the eichel power baby i'm i'm feeling good here game number one stanley cup final back to back years we're back at the dance we, we were up 2-0 against Dallas last year, so let's if we go up early here, we can't uh, can't freak out like we did last year. So let's go times 8 once again. This is all too important to skip periods like they're nothing here. Power play. All right, I was hoping for another Jack Eichel goal. Okay, I'll settle for a Taylor Hall snipe on Connor Hellebuck. And Matthew Phillips, the nicest guy in the world. Casey Middlestat, how you doing? Patrick Laine, no, you're ruining this. Stop, go away. But Matthew Phillips, the nicest guy in the entire world, scores a goal. Okay, we got five goals here in the first period. Okay, sure, with one second left, tie up the hockey game and just ruin my entire day. Um, okay, Mark Jankowski, fourth liner. Hate to see it. Three goals on eight shots. UPL, you're better than this, buddy. Let's go in the second here. <sighs> okay, we don't like Winnipeg. They can snipe, and there you go again. They can score at basically any time. So we need to get on these guys early. The key to this series is going to be scoring goals early, getting a lead early, getting on them so they can't have time to bounce back. Four goals on 19 shots. UPL, I need you here, buddy, in the third period, big time. Come on, Jack Eichel. I know I've asked for a lot, but it's time to shine. Not Mason Appleton. He scores a goal, making it 5-3. to three. I'm hoping for a comeback. Jake DeBrusque. Okay. Jake DeBrusque gets one. There's lots of hockey left. Jack Eichel, maybe. Am I asking for a little too much here? Rasmus Dahlin, maybe. Madison Bowie. Someone score a goal. 5-4. to four. 34 to 30 are the shots. Okay, come on here, boys. Three minutes left. Pull the goalie. Get him under there now. Do it. Pull him. Get that extra attacker on, and it's going to end. Oh, my God. Vitaly Kravtsov with one second left. Oh, my God. Can you believe it? One second left, and we go into overtime in game number one. Are you kidding me? All right, overtime, because, of course, one second on the clock, and Vitaly Kravtsov, he scores a huge goal, the biggest goal of his young career. Oh my god, Patrick Laine absolutely destroys Taylor Hall, but it's all good. We come away with the puck. Here comes Jack Eichel. He's got the inside lane, finds Kravtsov. Oh, he's trying for another one. Here comes Nikolai Ehlers over to Laine in the slot. Stones and cold, UPL, what a save. Dominic Kubelik alone in the slot. Get that rebound. Oh, my God. 
Oh, DeBrus to Middlestad. He scores Casey Middlestad. What a pass by Jake DeBrus. He finds Casey Middlestad. He makes no mistake. Goes top shelf where your mama keeps the cookies. Boom. What a goal. Oh, my goodness. That was beautiful. Jake DeBrusque wreaking havoc in the in the corner there. Oh, baby. Huge goal from Casey Middlestad. Sabretooth is pumped up, and we have a one to nothing lead against the Winnipeg Jets in the Stanley Cup Final. All right, so no injuries to report here going into game number two. We're up one nothing. Let's not get crazy. Shout out to Vitaly Kravtsov. Scored a goal with one second left, but Nikolai Ehlers scores on the first shot of the game. All right, not a great start. It's all good. Lots of hockey left. I'd rather that in the last second than the first minute, but okay. Mason Appleton makes it 2-0. Two goals on five shots. Come on, UPL. This is your team. This is your team. You cannot be doing this, especially in this Stanley Cup final. All right, come on. Period number two. Let's go, Eichel. Turn it on here, buddy. You know you want to. You know you want to. Power play for Winnipeg and Patrick Line on the power play. Dominic Kubelik, he responds with a power play goal of his own. On the power play again, can we get another one back to back? All right, so we're down by two here going into the third. We have a shot advantage. We can still do this. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling confident. Taylor Hall, Sean Corrali, Maxime Comtois, someone on the fourth line. Those fourth liners have been awfully quiet lately. I'd love a defensive goal as well. I'd love anyone to score here. Matthew Phillips, nicest guy in the world. 29 to 19 are the shots. Matt Madison Bowie of all people, sorry, Stanley Cup champion Madison Bowie cuts the lead to one and Sean freaking Corrali, can you believe this team? Oh my god, we're going into OT again, maybe? 20 seconds on the clock, another overtime game, Madison Bowie and Sean Corrali. That, that rhymes, I don't even mean to rhyme that. This team will not go away. All right, overtime once again. Casey Middlestat did it in game number one. We got another overtime game here for the fans in Buffalo. They're definitely getting their money's worth. Big save by UPL starting it off. Let's do this all over again. Taylor Hall all alone in the slot. Tries to get his own rebound. Josh Morrissey makes sure that does not happen. We're looking like the Russian five out here just playing keep away with the opponent. Casey Middlestat, the overtime hero from game number one, gets muscled off the puck, but, that's a, but then he says, no, that's my puck. Over to Kubalik in the slot with the weakest shot of all time. Uh, Casey Middlestat, he wants that puck bad. Just saw Nick Letty on the ice, so Nick Letty has returned from injury. Good time. I don't know who it is, number 13. He's got green skate laces. That's a power move. I think that's Habi Bulin. What a guy. In comes Casey Middlestat. Oh my god, how did he save that? I thought that was going to be a for sure goal. But more importantly, I think Habi Bulin has green skate laces. I like it. All right, we got the nicest guy in the world, Matthew Phillips, on the ice. And he loses the draw because he doesn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I understand. With three minutes left in the first overtime frame, Mark Scheifele, you idiot, takes a tripping penalty on Rasmus Dahlin. I mean, that's kind of a kind of a weak call, but hey, I'll take it. You need a tissue, Mark Scheifele? Casey Middlestat over to Hall. He shoots. Oh, my God. Just misses the top corner. That was a weird angle. I don't know what you were doing there. That was dumb. Here comes Casey Middlestat over to Eichel. Oh, what a save. All right, we got Middlestat, Eichel, and Kubelik out here in overtime on the power play. No way! No way Nikita Zadorov just scored a shorthanded overtime winner. No way. That, oh, oh, that is the worst. I am not even looking at that. That is the worst. How the hell does that happen? You gotta win that draw in the defensive zone. Oh, that one hurts. Dylan Cousins is back. There you go. Thank you. Let me edit up the lines here, and let's get back to Dylan Cousins' time. 
All right, game number three. It's all tied up at one back-to-back -back overtime games. I want to see like a 4-1 win. I want to put this team in their place. Four to two of the shots early on. Come on, boys. Let's get on these guys early. Jack Eichel hasn't had a goal since game seven against the Washington Capitals. I'd love to see him score here. We have 16 shots, closing in on 20. Oh, my God. We are just peppering Connor Hellebuck and Dylan Cousins. Welcome back from your second broken nose of the postseason 22 shots in the first period keep it up let's pour it on jack eichel there you go scoring a big one cup for jack he wants it bad jake debrusque three to nothing yeah we just honestly peppered connor hellebuck until we scored that's literally just what happened there put all of the pucks on uh, connor hellebuck eventually one is going to go in 34 to 21 are the shots we have a three nothing lead here a commanding lead make it a 3-1 lead Patrick Line scores on UPL and then Jack Eichel says no 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 not today baby Eichel scores his second of the night after not scoring since the game seven of the Capitals maybe a hat trick for Jack Eichel I'm comfortable with this win four to one Eichel with two you love to see it we have a 2-1 lead I'm not getting cocky not gonna get overly excited watch Dylan Cousins break his nose again and Rasmus Ristolainen is back. Oh, that's huge. I forgot Risto was injured. Oh, man, he's been out for a while. Okay, let me edit up the lines once again. We're putting Dylan Cousins back where he belongs. Got to change up some things. You go there. You go there. You go there. And then you go there. Boom, boom, boom. And then that is all good to go. Actually, you go there. Okay, we're good to go now. Ivan Habibulin's actually in 83 now, so that's nice to see. But let's go here. You guys know what this is, right? Game number four, the most important game of the series. We can go up three to one and really put the pressure on, or they can climb back into this. We just won a game in Winnipeg. The whiteout is real, but we don't care. We don't see color here in Buffalo. But Mark Shifley scores a power play goal. The first shot of the game, might I add, Mark Shifley. Well, sorry, the first shot for the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, they score, making it one nothing. They're in there home arena the whiteout is loud it's crazy in Winnipeg those Winnipeg fans are a little bit they're not quite right because they have to live in the freezing cold but Vaseline scores with 30 seconds left great now I dissed the entire city of Winnipeg now they're gonna come back with vengeance but Taylor Hall says I don't care about the cold I lived in Edmonton and Isaac Lundstrom says I don't care about the cold either I lived in I lived in Anaheim but then Jack Eichel comes right back there you go enough about the weather we score three unanswered goals three goals in less than five minutes taylor hall gets another one but patrick line oh my god this series is insane all right hall eichel lundstrom hall and then line scores for them but then maxime come the anaheim boys lundstrom and maxime they score huge goals in game number four massive goals all right, five to three here. I love to make it six to three, get that extra insurance marker. I don't trust Mark Shifley and Patrick Line or Jack Roslevic. See what I'm saying? I don't trust these guys at all. I don't trust them. I do not trust them. Oh God, this series is gonna be the death of me. Five to five here. They oh my God, Devontae's scores on Cal Peterson. We chased, we chased Connor Hellebuck. Is that oh my God, Jack Eichel? Seven to five, Devontae's with the game-winning goal, and we have a three to one series lead against the Winnipeg Jets in the Stanley Cup Final. All right, here you go. This is what we've been waiting for for so long. 50 plus years Buffalo Sabres fans have they've seen it all they've seen Hasek Miroslav Shatan they've seen the foot in the crease they've seen Tyler Sagan steal the Stanley Cup away from them last year they've seen it all Brad May Mayday Rick Jenneret they've seen it all they've seen some great jerseys they've seen some terrible jerseys but they've never been this close we have three games to win the 
Stanley Cup. I'd love to do it in front of our home fans. Jack Eichel was a goal per game in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Let's go. Times eight, boys. Come on. You can do it. We haven't had a shot yet. Okay, there you go. There's one shot, but Mark Shifley. Damn, this guy is annoying. He is clutch. I'll tell you that for sure. He is clutch. But you know who else is clutch? Jack Eichel, baby. Goal per game. Power play again for Winnipeg and Nikolai Ehlers. It's okay. We were down 2 nothing. I think, at the last game. It's all good. The excitement's in the building. The Stanley Cup is in the arena. We get it, all right? We understand. Whew. Everyone breathe. I'd love for a Dominic Kubelik goal, not a Kyle Connor goal. Give me a break. All right, Dylan Cousins and his broken nose. He scores one. We're being outshot like crazy. What's going on here, boys? We had all the mo we had all the momentum. Why are you inviting me to a party? And Josh Morris, he scores a power play goal. Come on here, boys. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. We could score three real quick. We can score three real quick. Come on. If we go up, if we go down, 5-1, it's all over. Only 15 shots. Come on, boys. Oh, Jack Eichel, he gets one. Jack Eichel gets one. 22 to 31 are the shots. Oh my god, Rasmus Dahlin. He comes through. He comes through huge. 23 32 are the shots. Please, hockey gods, please. Oh no, Nikolai Ehlers. Why? Oh, we thought we had a good thing going there. Mark Shifley with his second of the night. Six minutes left. We are down by three. This game is all but over. All right, we're going to game number six. It looks like six to three. Man, I really thought we had the momentum there with Eichel and Rasmus Dahlin. I really, really did. All right, we're all ready to go here. Just got to drink our ice cold water. Here we go. Game number six. We're not going to do it at home, but we're doing it in Winnipeg. Let's go. Cup is in the building. Times eight, boys. Come on. Power play right away. All right, here we are. Here's the shots. That's why I like seeing him. But it doesn't matter because Brian Little scores. Of course he does. Ten to two. They have two goals on three shots. UPL, get it together, homeboy. Jake DeBrusque, he scores. There you go. Power play for Winnipeg. All right, calm down here. We had a shaky start. Okay, Jack Eichel ties the hockey game up. If all else fails Jack Eichel is going to be there to pick up the pieces he scores again oh my god this guy's incredible we can do this okay we can do this we've been through enough stress here already we've been through enough stress Matthew Waugh slash Roy how do you say your name why are you scoring goals in the Stanley Cup final Mark Shifley go away please four to three are the shots Five to th oh my god, four to three is not the shots. Four to three is the score. Now five to three is the score. UPL, what is going on, my guy? What is the problem here? We put up numbers for you. We put up shots, but we just can't keep it together. Come on, guys. Kid, let's get it together here. Oh. Oh, come on, Falk. Oh my god, what the hell is going on right now? What is going on? 7-3, to three, are you kidding me? Alright, if we want to do it, we're doing it in front of our home fans. We're not making it easy. Okay, Dominic Kubelik, we have a little bit of life. We're not making it easy. We're doing it in Game 7. That's totally fine, but I am going to make a line change. Um, that is completely... What is going on? What the hell is going on? We have all this momentum and Ryan Pollock's injured. Great, perfect. Love to see it. Uh, the change I was gonna make was gonna be a defensive change, actually. Oh my god. All right, let me let me figure out what I'm going to do here. This is the lineup we're going with. Plus three, plus three, plus one. I like how this looks. Madison Bowie, is he going to be is he going to be the piece that pushes us over to the edge? We're going with UPL. I know he had a shaky moment there in game 6, but this is it. This is what we've worked for. I've put Vitaly Kravtsov back on the first line. Without him, we're not in this position. He scored some huge goals for us and Dylan Cut Cousins has been injured, he's been up and down. I'm rolling with this line. This is the lineup that's gonna do it. Here we go, game seven, all right? You guys didn't wanna make this easy on yourselves. You had a 3-1 lead, a 3-1 lead. It's all good, all right? The Buffalo fans are here. They want a Stanley Cup. 
Canada wants a Stanley Cup with Winnipeg. Don't let Canada have a Stanley Cup. Let the Canada of the United States, Buffalo, win a Stanley Cup. Let's go, boys. Come on. Start it off right here. Let's get the first goal of the game. No power play for Winnipeg. Not what we want. There you go. Good kill. Sean Corrali, baby. Power play. It's going to be Eichel. You know it's going to be Eichel scoring in this game. You absolutely know it. 7-7 seven to seven are the shots. Looks like it's a bit of a defensive battle battle here. Nothing in the first. All right, everyone take a breath. Whew, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you guys. Period number two. All right, I'd love a goal here. I'd love a Sean Corrali goal. I love me some Sean Corrali. Not Patrick Line. Not like this. Please, God, not like this. Oh, my God. The nicest guy in the freaking world, Matthew Phillips. This is the type of guy to open up the fridge. He sees the orange juice has one glass left. He leaves it for his roommates. He leaves it. He doesn't drink it. He's the nicest guy in the world, and he scores a huge goal on Connor Hellebuck in Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final to tie the game up at 1. But Mark Shifley, why are you the way you are? Stop giving these guys power plays. They've got two power play goals. It's not working out. <sighs> game 7. We're down by 1. Going into the 3rd. Taylor Hall, Jack Eichel, it's your time to shine. Dominic Kubelik, let's go boys, come on. Oh, there it is, Dominic Kubelik. Thank you very much. Shots are basically dead even. I'm going times four here, we're going real slow. Dominic Kubelik ties the game up at two here. Come on, Eichel, you know you want this, buddy. You know you want this so bad. You know you want this Stanley Cup. You're nine minutes away if you score a goal right now. Is this gonna be game seven overtime? Oh my God, Jack Roslovic, go, why? No, not like this, not like this. Four minutes and 44 seconds left on the clock. We're down by one in game seven. Let's go, boys. You know what to do. Here comes Kyle Connor over to Roslovic. Oh, my God. Do not. Oh, my Jesus. What a save. Alex Formanton. We have the third line out there. I don't know why, but we do. Alex Formanton over to Vitaly Kravtsov. How are you not going to shoot that in the slot? Jack Roslovic comes in a huge save. Two huge saves. Get some support for your goalie. A minute left on the clock. Jack Roslovic, another save from UPL. He keeps the play going. Vitaly Kravtsov. Okay. Okay. He gets the puck again. Over to Rasmus Dahl. We pull the goalie. Here comes Taylor Hall. Shoot! Taylor Hall, where's that puck? It's on the goal line. Are you kidding me? How does that not go in the back of the net? Oh my god, what happened here? Hall, like, did a fake pass, missed the net. Oh, no. Vitaly Kravtsov. Dude, that was so close. That was so... Oh, hold on a second. We might be going up to Toronto here. This could be a goal. No, maybe I'm crazy. I see that puck. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> you see it there? Yeah, it didn't go in. Oh my god, it's so close. Huge win. Madison Bowie. Oh my god, imagine Madison Bowie scores the goal. Oh, Line A gives it up to DeBrusque. He shoots, he hits the post. You've got to be kidding me. I'm sorry, I'm stopping this. I'm stopping this. I have to see. Did he seriously just rip this off the post? He did. Oh no, he didn't. Never mind. I'm crazy. I thought that hit the post, but that was just a nice save by Connor Hellebuck. 30 seconds left, not like this. Patrick Line, you idiot, what are you doing? Oh my God, we have 25 seconds. Jake DeBrusque, don't lose it. Okay, over to Kubelik, not the time to try a dangle. No, 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 Line, 17 seconds left. No, boys, no. I, what, this team is cursed. They're ragging the puck. Oh my God, can you get it? six seconds left? Oh, nice line, A. Eh? Yeah, you're awesome. I cannot believe what just happened here. Buffalo's cursed. Oh my god. We had a 3-1 series lead. And we blew it, and the Winnipeg Jets are Stanley Cup champions. Zygmunt Gergensens is a Stanley Cup champion. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. For the second year in a row, the... 
Buffalo Sabres blow a stand. Oh my god, we blew it. We freaking blew it. I am at a literal loss for words right now. I... We have two shots left. Do we blow it up this year? What the hell? Oh, what did we do wrong? The chemistry was so good. The team looked so good. Oh, my God. Mark Shifley wins the con Smythe. Blah, blah, blah. I hate this. I hate it here. Blake Wheeler, he's the captain. What do I know? Blake Wheeler wins the Stanley Cup with the Winnipeg Jets. Even though we were up 3-1, to one, I could scream and yell all I want, but it's time to get back to work. Sorry, Jets fans. I'm not looking at that shit. Very rarely am I at a loss for words. Very rarely. And this is one of those times. We blew it. We absolutely blew it. What the hell was wrong? We were healthy, but it just game seven. Back to back years. I'm going to lose my mind. Oh my God. Winnipeg Jets are Stanley Cup champions and I want to throw up. Minnesota wins the draft lottery followed by Pittsburgh and Calgary. I don't care. View retired players. I hope everyone except for Jack Eichel decides to retire after that ridiculous collapse. Oh my god. Kovalchuk calls it quits. Yeah, Lundqvist, blah, blah, blah. It is worth noting Claude Giroux didn't retire, but I am absolutely heartbroken. I'm furious. Year three was supposed to be our year. This was the year. This was the year we're supposed to win the freaking Stanley Cup. But of course, we freaking blew it. We blew it. I feel so bad for Jack Eichel. He played his heart out. A goal per game. He was the man. 26 goals in 26 games. The poor guy poured his heart, soul, blood, sweat, and tears on the ice just to lose in game seven. What a joke. Was it our goaltender? Was it UPL? He played pretty good, I feel like. Oh man, this is just painful. Just pure pain. Prince of Wales trophy back to back years, I feel pain. I'm checking the awards for one thing and one thing only, and that is the Calder trophy. And it goes to Matthew Phillips, the nicest guy in the league. Matthew Phillips wins the Calder. Con Smythe, get the hell out of here. Uh, okay, we didn't take home anything else. I'm shocked. Is it our coach? Do we fire our head coach? Is that what we should do? What the hell do we do? This is insane. I can't believe we just lost in Game 7 back-to-back -back years. <sighs> I don't know what to say. Nice thing is we don't have to re-sign anyone major. We gotta re-sign the nicest guy in the world, Matthew Phillips, Devon Tays, all these guys are cheap. So we have some money to work with here and we're probably gonna trade Elvis because he's literally made of glass. He is made of glass. The guy gets injured like it's nothing. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. I need your guys' help. What do we do here? What the hell do we do in Buffalo?